Hello, I am John O'Lawrence and I'm the VP Exploration for Burkina Faso. Prior to Endeavour, I was the Exploration Manager in Central and East Africa for Rangold and then I joined Endeavour in 2016 to run exploration at ITI. Now I oversee all activities in Burkina where we see tremendous exploration potential. Burkina's greenstone belts host a gold endowment of almost 90 million ounces of published mineral resources. The most prolific regions in terms of Hyundai of known gold deposits are the Hyundai, Goran, Tenkodogo, Manga, Fada and Guma belts, totaling a combined 70% of the country's gold endowment. Four deep-seated, long-lived regional structures and their splays contribute to the tremendous overall gold potential. The Grenville, Wonga Fatini, Bonnie, and the Markoi shear zones. We are now the largest exploration permit holder in Burkina, with particular focus on the highly prospective greenstone belts in the southwest of the country. Since our successful integration of the Samafo and Taranga assets, our permits holding has increased threefold, from 31 permits covering nearly 3,000 kilometres to 74 permits covering over 9,200 square kilometres. Our land holding covers nearly 7% of the greenstone belts in Burkina Faso and in particular 24% of the Hyundai belt. This is an incredible foothold which puts us in a strong position to deliver on our exploration strategy. Our strategic target for Burkina is just shy of 9 million ounces from 38 target areas, with Hyundai accounting for nearly 60%. Hyundai. One of our flagship mines is another example of our proven approach to exploring, developing and operating our assets. Since 2016, we've added an extra 2.6 million indicated ounces, including two 1 million ounce deposits in the carry area. Both of these are in production and there remains a lot more to be discovered. The Wongo Fatini and Bonnie regional shears and their splays, which bound and transact the belt, are key exploration features. All deposits and exploration targets can be linked back to these structures. Understanding how these structures interact with host geology is the key to unlocking million ounce discoveries. Following an exhaustive review of our exploration targets, our goal now is to discover three to four million ounces of indicated resources over the next five years. This would place Hyundai as a 10 million ounce plus endowment. Very exciting. Our exploration efforts are currently focused on Bindaloo, Mambo, an intersection between Carry Gap and Carry Centre. We are really excited by the drilling results at Mambo target, as it could prove to be a significant discovery. Geologically, Mambo is located in a very attractive setting at the boundary between a volcanic and a granitoid intrusive. Its mineralised trend now extends more than 800 metres, with pending drilling results expected to extend this strike length to between 1 and 1.2 kilometres. Mineralisation appears to be still open to the northeast southwest and at depth, since it has been only tested down to approximately 150 metres. Step-out drilling in the second half of the year will target lateral extensions of Mambo and initial maiden resources expected to be published before year end. In the near term, we are also excited to drill out our higher grade targets such as Sinakui and Duan. Next, we'll update you on the work we've been doing at Golden Hill, which is an advanced stage exploration property in the Hyundai Belt within trucking distance of Hyundai. It is made up of three exploration permits covering almost 700 square kilometres. Key features of the project include the Bonnie Shear Zone and its blaze, which transect the permits, and the high-grade mineralisation associated with these structures. We've uncovered an exciting exploration opportunity here with a new interpretation that mineralisation is associated with linking structures developed between the main Bonnie Shear and its blade to the east. We believe that a successful drill validation of the concept will present an opportunity to extend mineralisation. Perhaps the most exciting target here is the Salaton Intrusive Complex. The intrusive is four kilometres by three kilometres in size. It hosts three of the five existing deposits on its margins. It's got visible gold, active artisanal mining, and there's strong geochemical anomalies over the central portion that remain untested by drilling. As you see, there is a lots of potential near and around Hyundai, which means that we'll be mining here for well beyond the 10-year mine life target. Although MANA has been in production for over a decade, we still see significant exploration potential. Following the integration of MANA within our business plan, we structured the team to provide a fresh perspective. 
given it is a mature exploration area, there's a strong need to reinterpret existing data sets and incorporate more structure and geology into the targeting strategy where we historically, there was a strong focus on geochemistry. We are now building on a geochemical sampling that has been a very successful exploration tool, allowing us to find numerous deposits and targets. MANA is made up of nine exploration permits and one mining permit, which cover over 1,300 square kilometres of the highly prospective Hunde Greenstone Belt. The Grenville, Wonga Fatini, Mboni Shears and their splays have been the source for all known MANA deposits to date. Three different styles of mineralisation have been identified here. Non-refractory sulphides, high-grade quartz, coarse gold and high-grade refractory sulphides. The primary objective is to increase the mine life to closer to 10 years. Samarfa had completed extensive exploration in the past, but we now see considerable additional opportunity remaining. Following our exhaustive review, the discovery target for MANA has been set at 1 to 1.5 million ounces. Our program is focused on evaluating oxide open pit targets within 20 kilometres of the plant, such as Mayula, and evaluating underground targets at Siu and Yafe. We see good potential to continue to increase the WONA and CU underground resources, which offer potential to extract high-grade mineralisation. In addition, it's interesting to note that the other historic minor open pit deposits are constrained by relatively shallow drilling, due to the refractory nature of the sulphide ore. We have not yet considered this refractory resource potential into our five-year discovery target, but it does offer significant upside potential especially if we should, at a later date, decide to attempt to unlock the refractory value of the operations. As you see, despite MANA being a mature asset, we see good potential to extend its mine life. Having been commissioned by Taranga in the fourth quarter of 2019, Wanyan is the youngest mine in our portfolio, and it offers huge exploration potential. Wanyan is located only 60 kilometres to the northeast of Barracks, 3 million ounce plus Tongan gold deposit in Côte d'Ivoire. It sits within our 100% controlled, highly prospective Lumana Sinofo greenstone belt. Key features for the project include its large intrusive complex with multiple shear directions, non-refractory mineralisation and a large mining permit which covers numerous drill ready targets. The Wanyan mine was developed quite quickly and many pits were brought at the, and opened at the same time in order to feed the plant which was running at 30% above nameplate capacity. As a result, some of the deposits have only been drilled down to rather shallow depths or along a limited length and as a result we believe significant upside remains at depth and on trend within the existing deposits as they are known today. Following our exhaustive screen we've established a target of discovering 1.5 to 2 million ounces of indicated resources over the next five years. The exploration program will focus on open pit targets within 10 kilometres of the existing plant. Short term focus is on both Nogbeli, North and South areas, targeting the continuation of mineralised structures beneath and between the Nogbeli pits. Over the longer term, a number of the satellite deposits and targets will be subject to a multi year effort given we see significant upside potential. At Bungu, Following our exhaustive review, our target is to discover 1 to 1.5 million ounces of indicated resources, which represents doubling the current resource estimate, with the primary objective to extend the mine life towards our 10-year target. Our focus is on evaluating near mine targets. Geochemical sampling, both soils and auger, has been a very successful exploration tool at Bungu. It's identified over 36 exploration targets to date, in the near term, we will focus on six exciting targets close to the mine that we've begun testing. Our targets are higher grade and focus in two key areas where we can count on concentrated support from regional security teams. These are brownfield targets within 10 kilometres to the north of the mine, where there is a structural complexity and a rotation of the shears proximal to a felsic intrusives. Our other target is around Dangu Northeast, a high grade greenfield target which locates within 20 kilometres of Japaga a regional urban centre. Mineralisation at Bungu is hosted by the shallow dipping Bungu Shear and the larger, more steeply dipping TN45 structure. 
highlighting areas with higher grade mineralisation and defining the geologic reasons for the higher grade are important in outlining future discoveries. Reinterpretation of the geophysical and geologic data sets will help delineate structural and lithologic controls to the mineralisation. The drilling conducted at Natugu Northwest identified a zone of higher grade mineralisation in the hanging wall of the Bungu Shear that trends north-northwest and extends for more than 700 metres. It remains open to the north. Drilling in the second half of the year will focus on delineating this trend. At Bungu Northwest, drilling evaluated the continuation of the Bungu Shear mineralisation but down plunge to the northwest of the mine. Initial results are promising and a complete review of all drill results expected later this year will guide follow-up drilling in 2022. As you see, we are extremely excited about the exploration potential in Burkina Faso and given our strategic positioning as the largest gold producer, we believe that we are well positioned to grasp this opportunity. In addition to our near mine exploration, we are excited by our greenfield exploration, which includes Bantu, Laguidi and other significant exploration areas which are bound to generate new projects. Beyond our Hyundai belt focus, we feel there is significant longer term potential in the belts where we currently have less of a presence, particularly those along the Marco Oishi zone. As Patrick mentioned, our goal is to find at least one greenfield project. And given this potential in Burkina, we are very confident that our efforts are likely to generate Endeavour's next greenfield project. 